So what is up guys? Welcome back to another all day battery vlog. This time on the iPhone 10, the all day battery test is here. Check it out. We're going to go throughout the entire day. I'm going to vlog this for you and I'm going to show you the kind of battery life I do get on this phone. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around and show you what I'm rocking out with right now. All right guys. So there is the iPhone 10. You can see I did get rid of the notch. I did make a video how to do that. It's not really getting rid of it totally. You can see if I go into the applications, it's still there, but I showed you in a video earlier how to do that. Let's check out the battery life though here on the iPhone 10. I am rocking out with a hundred percent right now. And like I say, I'm going to run this guy on full brightness. I will have to lower the brightness so you can see it on the video because it kind of, you know, overexposes on the camera. So I will lower it just for when I show you the video portions, but I will be rocking on full brightness. Wi-Fi is going to be off. We're going to be running on LT and I am going to be using, I said LT, LTE. I am going to be using maps a lot today because I am going to be using this to go somewhere on GPS. So keep that in mind. I will give you updates in a little bit and I'll see you soon. So you can see guys right here, I am halfway to the location and I'm showing you basically what my main use is right now 145 p.m. only dropped 1% in about 15 minutes so far so that's looking pretty strong here on the GPS I do want to go ahead and show you the settings real quick in battery settings you can no longer put a percentage on the iPhone 10 up at the top you do have to pull it down now but you can see I'm gonna show you throughout the day how it's been going right now just 22 minutes on the usage and 37 minutes on standby I'll update you guys when I get to the location Okay, so it's now 3.27 p.m. Most of my usage today has been coming from GPS. So let's take a look at the battery life here. 80% after a couple of hours using this guy. I don't even think it was a full two hours though. Let's go ahead and check it out here. So let me zoom out really quickly and show you my usage. So 60% Google Maps, just like I said, scrolling down a little bit of PayPal, a little bit of App Store, a little bit of Vellum photos. You can see two hours and 20 minutes on the standby and one hour and 41 minutes on the usage. So not bad, about two hours usage and we still have 80% battery life. Now, I was rocking on full brightness. I just turned it down for this clip though. So I wanted to share with you something I noticed about the iPhone 10, and it's not about the battery life, but more so that the phone gets a little bit hotter than my prior iPhones that I have used. So if you're thinking about getting this phone, for some reason, it gets a little bit oddly warm in comparison to like the iPhone 7 Plus or the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus for some reason. But it might just be my phone. I don't know. It might be the OLED panel. Let me know if your iPhone 10 is getting warm below. So this video right here coming from the front of this phone is audio firing directly from the phone itself. iPhone 10 quality. Let's go ahead and check it out on the indoor now. We're going to go in the store right now. So you can see it's shifting exposure a little bit, getting a little bit dark. I'm headed into Best Buy right now. Checking it out, it's pretty nice. Hello, saying hello. So this video right here is coming directly from the iPhone 10 itself. Judge the quality for yourself. I'm actually checking out the cameras here at Best Buy. You can kind of get an idea of what it's like to shoot on this phone. All right, guys, it's dark in my area already. I do live on the Midwest where we do have daylight savings. It does get dark pretty early, but I want to show you where the battery life is at right now at 5.06. PM. Remember, we started this around 1, 1 30-ish, 62%. So it looks like I might actually go into the next day still with some juice remaining. Let me head into the battery life itself, though, and show you the actual use case. So again, I've been using mostly maps today because I've been out all day. Two hours and 34 minutes on screen time, three hours and 59 minutes on standby. I'm going to update you guys later on and show you some more about what's going on with this phone. All right, guys, so I'm recording directly on the iPhone X's front-facing camera now. It's getting dark here in the car, and I wanted to do this little clip just to kind of showcase to you the kind of quality of the camera on the front of night. I see quite a bit of noise up in the left-hand corner. I don't know if it's going to look like that when it processes but there's no microphones attached so this is the audio you're going to get in a pretty quiet environment we are in a car and i just want to showcase that i'll update you with the battery life soon right now it's at about 65 percent it's doing pretty well i actually might go into the next day with this battery guys okay, so here we are it is now 7 33 p.m iphone 10 37 percent so it is definitely getting down in that battery life lte usage mostly all day i did use some wi-fi at my last location heading into the battery life department let's take a look at that on screen time now so four hours and five minutes with still 37 percent battery life to go so 
it's looking pretty solid here. Over four hours of on-screen time already. And this is a, I would say, a heavier use case scenario. So I'm going to update you when it's just about dead now. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm going to wrap the video up here. I only got about 16% battery life left on this thing. That's pretty much all day. I'm going to throw it on the charger in a few minutes here. But let's discuss it a little bit. The iPhone 10 in my use so far, has been an all-day foam. It's not super impressive, though, in the fact that, you know, I don't come out with this phone and I'm thinking I'm easily going to get through all day. If I go heavy on this phone, like super heavy, I was using GPS all day, but if like I'm using GPS, watching videos, playing games, downloading apps all day, browsing the web, I'm probably getting from like 9 o'clock in the morning till about 7 to 8 o'clock at night. So I would take a wireless charger out with me or, you know, a wireless backup battery pack, something like that with the iPhone 10. It's not the road warrior that the iPhone 8 Plus is. All right, so you can see right there, 17% on the iphone 10 that is left let me go ahead and go into my battery settings now and show you basically all days usage here and what kind of you know standby time we got so most of the day i was basically out and about and i just wanted to vlog this because i figured if i'm out might as well show them what the battery life is like 39 percent here on the gps i did use safari quite a bit spotify usage did use that a lot as well bluetooth was on high brightness as a matter of fact the brightness is a little too high right now let me go ahead and turn that brightness down so you could see it just a little bit better here five hours and 46 minutes usage on screen time and still there's about 17 percent left so this is about a seven hour on screen time phone with about nine hours of standby time right here so that should just go to show you that apple didn't really you know put a bad battery life in this phone it's pretty decent and definitely i don't think it's you know for a thousand dollars i don't think this is the best battery life on any smartphone but definitely isn't going to disappoint anyone so that wraps it up. iPhone 10 all day battery test. Yes, I will leave the link to this case down below in the description area of this video. Like I say, it's not a bad battery life at all. I mean, I'm not super impressed with it. I'm not like, this is amazing battery life for a phone because the 8 Plus has been doing better for me in use. This is running iOS 11.1 right now. We It might get better over time, but seven to eight hours of on-screen time, no complaints here. You're getting through the full day with the iPhone 10, just not much more. So anyway, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, drop them down below in the comment section of this video. And if you enjoyed this style of video, all day battery test, let me know by leaving this one a thumbs up. And anyway, if you have any more questions, you can hit me up at the www.nickackermanchannel.com website. I got the blog over there now. I am gonna be updating that soon. It's still in beta, so it's still pretty new. It's gonna get updated over time. I'm bringing the t-shirts. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here up in you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace. I'm telling you right now, Face ID is faster than Touch ID. I'm no. telling you. No. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. I bet they're the same. No, they're not. I bet they're the let's do it right okay, now. Pull right your now. phone out and okay. let's do this. Let's okay. Do it. Ready? All right. You're gonna hit the you're gonna hit the power button. Okay. I'm gonna hit the power button first, and I'm gonna show you that Face ID is faster. No. Than, yes, it I is. Bet they're look, the same. look how fast they're gonna it was. Be the same. Watch. It just opened. They're gonna be the all same. Right, Ready? All right. One, you know what? No, one, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do a video on that. I'm gonna do a video on that soon.